putting out a talent call. If you're interested in pursuing a music career, Gallant is seeking to discover and develop songwriters as well as musicians. And yes, if you want to find out more about it, we've got the general manager right here, Jose Francisco Avila, and we welcome you back. Thank you, Darren. How's everything going? Everything is going great. Like I said off air, you're looking good. Thank you. I'm taking care of myself, and I'm really excited with this new project. So talk about the new project. So you, you, you're seeking some talent, and you're trying to get some songwriters. Exactly. And Darren, it has to, uh, to talk about the project. I also have to talk to what's happening. Right. The music industry is growing for the first time in 15 years. Uh, right here in New York, there's a lot of activity going on. Last year was the, uh, the first New York Music Month was proclaimed. And this year, they're repeating that again. Mm -hmm. It's growing, but what I notice is that we, from the Bronx, specifically the color people, are not participating in it. So we decided to start this initiative, specifically start a publishing company. Why a publishing company? We have always participated on the artistic side of the music industry. Mm -hmm. The business side of the music industry we have not been participants, and that's really what this project is about. And why are we looking authors, songwriters, and so everything in the music business starts with the song. Mm -hmm. And from that process, you know, you get into the royalties, the management, and all of that, and that's basically what we're trying to do is give artists from the Bronx initially and everywhere eventually the opportunity to participate in the creative economy of New York City. So now that the, uh, you've got the company going, you're out there, you're saying, listen, we want to get some people under our umbrella. Who exactly are you looking for? We're looking for everyone. Everyone who has talent, everyone who has a dream mm -hmm. of making it in the music industry. Yeah, and it sh we have actually been developing this process for the past three years in the Garifuna community. Mm -hmm. We actually, three years ago, started producing what we call the Garifuna Music Award. With that intent, it's actually identifying artists. We have done a great job there. We have learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And basically what we discover is that the experience that we have acquired can serve other communities, specifically here in the Bronx. So we decided to expand it, and that's why we actually rebranded the company to, Gal to Gallant to serve a more diversified, creative participants. And for people who want to enter into the music industry, people just say, listen, you know, I just want to do music, but there's so much more to the business component uh, of it, and I know that you also will assist and walk people through that. And that's, that's, that's the process, that's exactly what we want to do, absolutely. Because you're right, uh, the industry, music industry crashed in 2000. Remember Napster mm -hmm. and all of that? Ever since then, the industry has been on a downhill path. Well, also, the cause of that was computers, was the fact that now every person that has a computer basically has a studio, and everyone felt that, well, I can create my own music, and I can put it out there. Yes, that's the easy part. The business side of the music industry is the most difficult one. It's the one that we haven't really participated on. And yes, we want to basically start training of the artists on how to participate on the music business side of the industry. So for people who want to take part and they're listening, they're watching right now and saying, listen, nah, this is something I want to do, what do I have to do? All they have to do is actually contact us. Our, our email is info at garifunaafrolatino.com. Info at garifunaafrolatino.com. Send us an email or my telephone number is 917-383-7014 and that will start the process. That'll get, it, that'll get it going from there. So give me a little bit about Garifuna music and how popular it's becoming. It's already popular, but it's really, it's really seeing an increase. Absolutely. Well, and this is appropriate because we are in the month of May, which we basically have proclaimed as Garifuna, uh, Garifuna Arts and Culture Appreciation Month. And why is that, Darren? Because on May 18, 2001, UNESCO proclaimed the Garifuna language, music, and dance as masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity. Those were, that was the initial proclamation. 19 cultures from around the world were selected, and the Garifuna culture was one of those. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, on May 4th, Aurelio Martinez is going to be introduced into the Afropop Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. He is the highest-ranking Garifuna artist, and right here in New York, this has become the epicenter of the Garifuna arts and culture, including music. So we are really excited, and this, this is a great time for Garifuna music around the world. And there's a lot of Garifuna uh, residents right here in the borough of the Bronx. The Bronx is the largest Garifuna 
community in the world I refer to it. There's mm -hmm. 200,000 in New York, which is the largest group in the community outside of Central America. Half of that population lives right here in the Bronx. So that's why I refer to it as the largest group in the community in the world. And we have become very active in every aspect, social, political, ec and now economic. And actually this project starts with, because we have achieved a lot socially, culturally, politically, mm -hmm. economic development remains the last frontier. And what is the easiest way to pursue and conquer that frontier, arts and culture. Because that is ours, we have our own cult arts and culture, and that's basically what we decided. And music, obviously, the, New York is the music capital of the world. The music industry generates $21 billion mm -hmm. right here in New York City. And New York City has the largest creative economy in the world. It's right here. And we have a rich culture that, that as I mentioned before, has been recognized by UNESCO. So we feel that we have an opportunity to participate. And so, once again, if you're talent out there and you feel like you want to get involved, well, guess what? All you got to do is contact Jose and, uh, and the group, and they will gladly take care of you and make sure that you're well taken care of. If you want to be a songwriter, if you got some music out there and you need a place to... Go ahead and land. This is exactly what you got to do. This is it. Just give us a call. Just contact us, and we'll be glad to help. All right, Jose. Well, good to have you. Thank and you. And congratulations. So a busy month coming up for you? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Thank yeah. you, Aaron. Well, congratulations. Thank Jose Avila with us. Listen, we'll be back in a few. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment.